I mean, he is the, uh, uh, independent. They've been setting this up. It's, it is what it is. We have to have an expectation on God. God, I'm looking to you to take care of me. God, I'm looking to you to provide for me. God, I'm looking to you to be my source. I don't know how this thing going to work out, but God, my eyes are on you. I don't know where the storm going, but my eyes are on you. I don't know how much gas is left, but my eyes are on you. I don't know how much food is left in the grocery store, but God, my eyes are on you. My hope, my expectation is on you. And Lord, if it ever get too crazy, I'm looking for you to come and take me home. Yes, Amen. See, that has to be a reality. Mm -hmm. We don't want to talk about that, but that has to be a part of our faith. That has to be a part of our reality. If it ever get too crazy down here, I'm looking for him to part the sky and come take me out of here because that's what he said. He said, I go the way, Corey, to prepare a place for you. Amen. That where I am, you will be also. It's not going to last forever down here. This is not our home. Prepare your hearts. Prepare your minds to understand that if Christ suffered, we're going to have to go through some stuff. We're going to suffer some stuff too. We're going to shed some tears too. But even in the midst of shedding those tears, God is still God. He is still holy. And he is still worthy of the praise. And we hold on to that cross. Yeah. Through the tears, through the pain, we hold on to that cross. Ain't no food in the refrigerator, but we hold on to that cross. The water ain't running, but we hold on to that cross. Because that cross is our salvation. That rugged cross, that is my salvation. That is my hope. I am going to hold on to that cross. I'm going to hold on to it. I, we was looking this, um, getting ready for the storm, and I'm closing. It's my second closing. <laughs> and I'm, my wife said to me, she said, you know, we need to get the um, the um, insurance policies, policies for the house and put them in the car just in case, because we got all our important stuff in the binder. Just in case we have to leave, because when you leave in a hurry, something you don't think about the stuff. So she said, we just go ahead and put it in the car, all our important papers, license and insurance and uh, 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 different registrations and um, doc important documents. Just put those in the car, just so we know it's there when we're ready to roll out, we have to roll out. And I, was say, and I said, okay, you know, uh, but I, it, it, it made me think about the things of God. And, and, and as this storm was coming, and I was saying to myself, I didn't say this to her, but I was saying to myself and going over in my mind, I got to get mine. The real insurance policy. And get that right. Get that ready to move. Get that ready to go. Not just the natural insurance policy, but that real insurance policy that will get you out of every jam. That will get you out of every flood. That will get you out of every storm. That will get you out of every battle. That will get you out of every situation. That is an insurance policy Jesus. that you need to make sure you keep it on you at all times because you don't know when trouble going to come. You don't know where it's going to come from. But as long as you've got that insurance policy, you are ready to go because he has given his angels charge over you. Hallelujah. Be with you in all that you do. Yes. To bear you up. At least yeah. you dash your foot upon the stone. Psalms 90, 91. He has given his angels charge over me. Yes. To be with me in everything that I do. Yes. To bear me up. Yes. At least I dash my foot upon the stone. He said, no evil shall come my dwelling. He says, with long life I satisfy you and show you my salvation. Yes. Yes. You better get your insurance. You better make sure your policy is updated. Check your policy. Amen. You don't want to get caught in the storm without your policy. Check your policy. Make sure your policy is updated. Make sure you know the details of your policy so that when the threats of life become or begin to come and pour in, you're not moved by those threats. You're not moved by those things because you know what your policy is saying. Put your hands together. Amen. Amen.